Hello everyone, welcome back to another great episode of Rihanna's Cuisines. Today we are making a quick, simple recipe that a lot of you have asked for. Um, it's just a chicken filling that I do for my buns, or um, you could do samosas, you could do a lot of things, pastries as well. Uh, croissants that I have on uh, YouTube. Um, so there's a lot of things that this can be used in. It's a very quick recipe. Also, this can be frozen ahead of time. So whenever you need it, you can take it out and use it for stuffings. So if you want to learn how to do this, let's go ahead, review all the ingredients. But before we do that, um, please subscribe if you haven't done so. If you have, I, um, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Um, hit that uh, notification bell over there so that you get notified every time a new video has been uploaded. So without further ado, let's get started. So we're gonna start off with, I've got about a pound and a half of clean cut chicken uh, breast uh, cubes that I'm gonna throw in, I've got my stove on. All right, in that goes a tablespoon of fresh ginger and garlic. A teaspoon of sambal, got a half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper. Remember the whole recipe and the description uh, of how to do it, the method is going to be in the description box below. You just want to stir this all really, really well. I'm also going to add a little bit of lemon pepper in here. So we're going to cook this for about five minutes. Um, we know that it's done when it's not pink inside. It should be all white inside and it should be nice and soft because we also don't want to overcook the chicken. All right, so I'm gonna take a look. I'm gonna break it in half, nice white inside. That means we're done. We're gonna empty this in a clean bowl. I'm gonna shred it after it has cooled. I'm gonna show you the next step. So in the same, um, Hot here. I'm just going to add a little bit of olive oil. That's getting really nice and hot. Into the olive oil, I'm just going to add half a teaspoon of ginger and garlic. You don't need much because we added that also when we boiled our meat, remember? Now I'll add a little bit of my sambal just to give it that taste, not to make it spicy. Now if you wanted to make it spicy, go ahead and add a bit more. Um, I'm also going to add my famous green chutney. Now, if you haven't seen this video, I will post um, a card right up there on the right-hand side of your screen and you'll be able to see that. This gives it a really, really nice taste. Okay, what I'm doing here is I'm just cooking the ginger and garlic down a little bit. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add not mo very much, just about a teaspoon of tomato paste. This also gives it a very rich taste. Why do I go ahead and um, do the twice? Why do I put the spices in the chicken and then also do this? Well, you see, when you stuff your breads or your naans or whatever you're making, your parathas or your sandwiches, um, you've got that outer layer, layer of bread. What happens to that is um, when that's cooked, you need a filling that's in the middle that's super pungent, like that's going to wake your senses. And that's why I do the double. It just um, really makes the filling really, really tasty. Um, so you see how we've got it to where it's really nice and a little bit of a maroon color. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and add all that chicken that I shredded back into it. Give this a nice stir. Make sure everything is combined. You see, so I wasn't, I don't want to make it curried or anything. I just want to add enough spices in here to kind of hold the buns uh, and make them super flavorful. So you could do crescent uh, buns and I have that video on, um, on YouTube as well. 
uh, you can fill those this uh, filling up with that. You can make um, uh, potato ch uh, chunks, and I have a recipe for that. That we usually put ground beef, but you could put chicken in there. That would taste also really, really good. At this point, I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna taste it just a little bit. All right. So it even with all the seasonings we in here have in here, it's super bland for me. So in goes a little bit of my lemon pepper. And that's going to wake this dish up. I'm going to add half of a juice, uh, lime juice, fresh lime juice in here. I'm going to add some spring onions in here. Now, you could do regular onions if you like. I'm adding about half a cup. If you don't like spring onions, leave them out. Uh, if you don't want to do regular onions, leave them out. I had uh, these um, spring onions sitting in the fridge. I don't want them to go bad. My kids don't mind it, so I'm going to throw them in there. All right? You could also add some tandoori masala in here just a little bit if you wanted to, just so that you can get more flavor in there. But for now, this is done. I'm going to take it off the heat. I'm going to let this cool. I'm going to pack it and, leave and put it in the freezer until I need it next time. So our chicken uh, filling is done. I'm so happy. I usually make a whole bunch, but I made a little bit just so I wanted to show you. For Ramadan, I usually make 5, 10, 15 pounds at a time and I freeze it. But with the things the way they are going right now, I'm doing it in more smaller quantities. Um, so, and it, I did my taste test. I did forget one thing that I did add fresh cilantro in here and it's completely up to you if you want to add it or not but it's super delicious and it's ready for any type of buns or anything I'll be making um, in the near future. So I hope you enjoyed the time with me today in the kitchen. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Hannah's Cuisines. Hope you can join me here next time with another great video. See you then friends.